off to the races and back to the PowerPoint. So baroreceptors and the automatic functions of your body in the digestive tract uh, provides information on fecal material. Uh, when the anus gets full or the rectum gets full, it's going to stimulate defecation. Uh, information is provided on all of the segments of the digestive tract in the carotid and aortic sinus blood pressure is constantly being monitored i was really aware of that when i had some lung effusion and some cardiac effusion with uh, fluid on my lungs and fluid on my uh, heart, how quickly uh, a change in pressure uh, occurred and how quickly my system felt that change and tried to make adjustments. In the lung, you get an idea of the rhythmic, or the rhythmic control is, comes from uh, centers in the uh, medulla oblongata to regulate uh, rhythmic breathing. Again, we all are intimately aware of uh, as your bladder fills up, uh, you definitely know when you gotta go. Proprioceptors, as I said, monitor the position of uh, joints and the muscle spindles. Muscle spindles are found in the uh, muscle cells and uh, in order to be able to walk, maintain your pressure, maintain your posture, uh, be able to learn how to do anything from riding a bike, driving a car, uh, running and jumping over hurdles. All that is the information that is constantly sent to your spinal cord and to your somatosensory cortex so that you know it's going on with the positions of all your limbs and muscles, how much contraction there is in your muscles and so on. So that's proprioceptors. We have chemoreceptors that sense pH, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Absolutely amazing how we're constantly monitoring carbon dioxide levels and oxygen levels. Nowadays, you can take a oximeter that works by comparing saturated hemoglobin to unsaturated hemoglobin because it has a different uh, spectral pattern. Uh, the little finger oximeter that you put on your digit, it's able to sense a difference between unsaturated hemoglobin and saturated hemoglobin. Absolutely incredible. Chemoreceptors in the medulla oblongata. So the respiratory centers, I mentioned that the medulla oblongata is where we're controlling respiratory rhythms, sensation of pH and CO2 and cerebral spinal fluid. They're going to trigger reflexive adjustments in, in breathing rate. The carotid bodies are sensing, again, pH, CO2, and oxygen in blood. It's going to trigger adjustments in cranial nerve 9 and cranial nerve 10. And the aortic bodies uh, around the aorta, again, are going to sense pH, CO2, and O2. So between kidney function and lung function, one of the constant duties of those systems is to uh, maintain uh, pH and sense how much CO2 we have and how much oxygen we have. Okay, so olfactory organs, uh, incredibly important. Let's stop there for a moment and Start there again, so we'll stop recording, stop recording.